Um, so, hi, I'm Ashley Williams. I'm a little horse JS today because I do a lot of JavaScript and I also I was teaching all day. I'm going to be showing you off a project that I worked on with uh, Steve back there called Simple Server. Um, and uh, the reason I wanted to create Simple Server is because I'm a teacher. And so I invented this program called Node Together. And Node Together is an introduction to Node for absolute beginners. And so it kind of ends up looking like this and it's focused on getting underrepresented people in tech. Uh, up and running in a cool ecosystem. And so we used to write this program, and the program is called Emergency Complement, which looks a little bit like this. You get a cat and you get a compliment, assuming that the Wi-Fi works. We might be stuck with just this one. Um, and so I wanted to be able to do this in Rust, and I started doing this in Rust, and I was using a framework called Pencil, and then unfortunately, as sometimes happens, the maintainer pieced, and it turned out that it was no longer in a good spot that we could possibly be able to use it for the program. And so I was like, hey, why don't we take a look at what needs to happen to create a node server. Let's take that exact API, throw it into a Rust program, and then build out whatever we have to do in the back so that we can have this API, because this is an API that I can teach to beginners in one day. You'd be surprised how little you can teach in a single day. So we released this about a week, two weeks ago, and it got the attention of node people, which was particularly awesome. So you can see here, Guillermo Rausch is really big. Michael Rogers, the former community manager of Node, so that the fact of language aiming to replace C++ plus plus is this expressive and concise should make everyone take notice, which is super, super cool. Um, but additionally, my favorite part is it got beginners excited. And so yesterday I was hoarse because we was teaching uh, Rust, uh, Rust Belt, Rust, Rust Bridge. And so I am going to uh, show you a small portion of the Rust Emergency Complement app, and I am going to do it as fast as I freaking possibly can. Um, FYI, if you're looking for the Rust Bridge website, it's right here. Um, and please check that out. Uh, and just as an FYI, the default port for this is 7878 because that's how you spell Rust on a telephone and I always have to Google it. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna start doing some typing now. So extern create simple server. Simple server is the name of this. We're gonna use simple server. I'm so bad at typing and my hands are like shaking so this is really fun. Um, yeah, so then we'll do a function main. All right, and so we're gonna set a host. There's currently a lot of people on the internet who are mad that this is stringly typed, and I love that the interface is simple, so I don't really care what they think. <laughs> um, so we're just creating a host and a port, and now we are going to create our server using the simple server, server struct. And this structs new takes a closure, um, and that closure takes a request and a mutable response. And then we could log that request, but we're not going to. Instead, we're gonna make a message. And yesterday I discovered, thanks to the awesome students in Rustbridge, that uh, the marquee tag still works. <laughs> so we're gonna do that. Oh gosh, type, type, type. I can do this. HTML, why are you so hard to type? Hello, Rust Belt Rust. All right, and so this is gonna be our message that we're gonna send. If you see missing semicolons, please tell me I love that. Um, and so we, were, we pass the message into our body, um, and we have to do it as bytes. And we return that, and then lastly. Yes. Oh gosh, yes. Donka server.listen on our host and our port, and we can save that, and cargo run and see if the compiler is mad at us. Oh, I see what it is. The question mark should be here. There we go, it's running, and now I can go over here and Hello, Russ Bell Russ. I'm done. I love how slow the marquee is. It's really dramatic. Um, so yeah, now I'm done. <laughs>